Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian gamer, and this is some gameplay from uh, Bad Company 2 Vietnam, where I actually do pretty well for myself, if, my, if I might say so. Uh, I go, um, what is it, 33 and 12 actually, so I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> and the high-pitched voice, yes, that was me. I was just surprised that he actually managed to kill me. Well. What I really wanted to talk to you about is um, why people, or why I believe people think that Black Ops is boring, or why many people find Black Ops boring. And I believe it to be a problem with the game's pacing. So, earlier Call of Duty games have been really action packed and the, uh, or the multiplayer has been really action packed and really focused around uh, the action and kind of the Rambo moments where you're able to just run out in the middle of the gunfight and just take down three or four guys in one clip uh, or one magazine which isn't really possible in Call of Duty Black Ops nor in Battlefield games so I the, uh, many people say that something that they're missing from from Black Ops, and I believe it to be the re I believe the reason to be because of uh, Treyarch's attempt to make Black Ops a more in quotes serious game. Uh, so they kind of turned down the pace a little bit, made the game play slower, <laughs> so that uh, you kind of you don't have these. Uh, Rambo moments where a player can just dominate a whole slew of, a slew of guys in one magazine. S uh, so a lot of people that play COD for kind of the action or the look at that silly banana uh, play COD for the kind of action that you kind of, kind of get out of, out of that kind of gameplay. They're not that into COD uh, or Black Ops because of the lack of the kind of Rambo moments. And while you have Call of Duty at one end of the scale with the action-filled Rambo moments, you've got games like Battlefield on the other end of the scale where it's much more of a slow-paced game, you kinda have to bide your time, move slowly, move tactically across the maps to kind of get, uh, get the advantage over the other players because you so you can probably take down two or three gra guys in one mag on most of the guns but that's about it so you kind of have to plan ahead and you're really vulnerable so you can't take down two or three guys easily you have to kind of plan it and kind of jump them to manage to do that and i believe that's something that Treyarch tried to do with black ops and they managed to alienate a lot of people that played cod for the kind of for the action and some people say they're really enjoying uh, Black Ops. Um, uh, I'm a subscriber to Woody's Gamer Tag, and he really enjoys it. And I believe that's because he doesn't play COD because he wants those Rambo moments. He's not that kind of a player. He's a tactical player, and he plays almost always with a team. So, for him, Black Ops is really awesome because it's a COD game that really put some weight on team play and you're in, it's not that e uh, not that easy to go lone wolf anymore of course it's a lot easier to go lo lone wolf in cod than it than it is in battlefield but it's a lot harder than it was in especially modern warfare 2 so i believe that with black ops Treyarch has kind of fallen in the middle of two goods <laughs> if you know what I, what i mean you have the more tactical slow paced gameplay of a battlefield game with large maps and uh, higher uh, or low, lower bullet damage and you've got the fast paced uh, more action packed game style of a COD game especially Modern Warfare 2 that is with higher bullet damage and more the Rambo moments so the question really becomes what are they going to do to the next Call of Duty game? Because they could still try to go more in the slow-paced ah. kind of game style, but it doesn't ah. seem like oh, that it's attracting a lot of people. It seems more like it's alienating them. 
and I believe that COD should kind of go back to what they did before with the more action-packed Rambo moments and that's and do what COD's good at while the le while leaving the more uh, tactical and slow-paced gameplay to a um, game that's better suited for, suited for that like a battlefield game because battlefield has always been about the tactics and the strategy and working together as a team and while Battlefield 2 started out with 64 players teaming up against each other and you had just huge teams and huge epic battles and that has been kind of backscaled in the recent games especially Bad Company 2 where it's only 32 players 16 versus 16 and you, you're only in contact really with your squad well, this is uh, awesome uh, in that you get more of a team uh, team play aspect to the game and they really reward helping out your team, but especially w rewards help helping out your squad. Um, I believe that's not something that Call of Duty could really ben benefit from. That's not what Call of Duty was and it's not something that it should become because Call of Duty has made a kind of... Um, kind of game style that kind of suits that kind of game so they should stick to that and do what they're good at and let Battlefield be the more tactical uh, or strategic uh, it's kind of say wrong to say uh, tactical or strate strategic because you can play tactical or strategic in Call of Duty 2 of course but it what I want to say it's a lot more slow paced and you have to play a lot more careful carefully I believe. Ah. I'm not English. Don't don't shoot me. Um, you have to think a lot more how you're gonna play because you're a lot more vulnerable in this game. Because if you start a gunfight, you might as well end up killing you uh, yourself and the enemy. So you, and of course there's vehicles which really Hi. turn the tide. <laughs> right here, I had a three KD, and because of that, one death. <laughs> I ended up having a 275 or something like that. It was just like I, w I had <laughs> I had been really working on just one more kill now, and I'll get a 3 KD. Well, that's it for this gameplay. I hope to see you next time. Stackis.